Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on Facebook retargeting. Okay, so this is video number one, which is the introduction and getting started. So before we get started, I wanna give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course so you know exactly what to expect. So obviously this is video number one. Video number two is gonna be a visual map of Facebook retargeting. And what that includes is I'm going to show you how Facebook retargeting works. And a lot of times people jump straight into showing you how to set things up. But unless you really understand how everything fits together, what connects to what and all of that, it's really going to become confusing because if you set things up like an email opt in retargeting campaign or a blog post campaign, or a purchase retargeting campaign, every one of those is different. So once I show you the basics via a visual map, that's when we show you some real life examples in video number three. Of course, in video number four, I'm gonna talk about the Facebook pixel, what it is, why it's important, and how it's used. And of course, from that point, we'll move to video number five and talk about how to add the pixel to your website, whether you're using WordPress, ClickFunnels, lead pages, or any other landing page builder. Video number six, we'll talk about pixel variables and settings, otherwise known as standard events, such as how do you tell Facebook that somebody has landed on your page, somebody has converted into a lead, somebody has added the product to their shopping cart. Maybe you want to find people who have added things to the cart, but have not yet purchased so that you can show an ad to them, remind them that they are interested in that purchase and, and perhaps give them some sort of discount as well. Video number seven, we're going to talk about custom audiences, which are essentially lists or segments of people that you have targeted and when you create your Facebook ad, you can then target that specific custom audience and show that specific ad to that audience. And then of course, in video number eight, we'll have some practical application and show you how to create these custom audiences. And of course, last but not least, video number nine, we'll talk about retargeting campaign setup. All right, so let's talk about mindset because I'm a big believer of having the right mindset before you get started. I want you to realize that you're not going to make a sale. You're not going to get leads right away just by setting up a Facebook retargeting campaign. Converting visitors really does take time. And to be realistic, sometimes 12 to 17 times of touch points, meaning you have to get in front of them 12 to 17 times before they will buy. So I want to make sure that you don't expect an immediate action or an immediate sale. Now to get started, you're going to need these things. You're going to need to have a Facebook ad account. And in doing so, you'll also need to have a Facebook business account. And you can go to business.facebook.com to get access to a Facebook business account. Now having a business account is separate from the Facebook ad account. You'll obviously need money for ads, realistically at least $500 or more. This is not free by any means, but it's a great way to test things and find results right away. You'll also need to have an idea of how you are selling your product or service in terms of your website, in terms of your funnel landing page setup, meaning how many pages do you have in your funnel? Do you have three? Do you have four? Do you have five? How many? So you want to have an idea of that before you get started because it'll start to make sense once I show you around. And of course, you'll need to have some sort of mind map or flowchart software. And the reason for that is it will help you be able to map things out, map your own plan of attack out so that you will be able to successfully implement everything that we're teaching you.